Cutgun, welcome. Good to have you with us. Uh, what do you say about Disney, um, and what do you expect when they report later today? Yeah, thanks for having me. And on balance, we certainly remain bullish longer term, but I think a lot will depend on the commentary for direct to consumer tonight. We're focused on three things tonight. First, at the parks, we see continued momentum based on strong re results from peers like NBC Universal and believe the recent price increases speak to management's comfort level around forward demand trends and its ability to continue driving up monetization. Second, media investors have shifted their focus to streaming profitability over the last year. So management's commentary on the path to achieving its target of Disney Plus profitability in fiscal 24 will be key. And lastly, of course, on, on core Disney Plus net ads, we think street expectations for around 8 million in the quarter are reasonable based on the content slate and recent international market launches. That said, you know, we do worry that the near-term setup is less favorable because the December quarter seems to have fewer fireworks from a programming perspective than normal, and we might run into some churn issues in the U.S. following the price increase next month. So hopefully we'll get an indication tonight over the expected subscriber growth trajectory in fiscal 23. You said the net ads for the quarter will be what, and how does that compare with, with Netflix? It sounds like Disney is doing much better. Yeah, so we, we think street expectations for around 8 million core Disney Plus net ads are reasonable. Um, Netflix was, Netflix's numbers were far lower than that. But keep in mind that um, Disney is in a far earlier cycle in terms of its growth curve. So mm -hmm. um, it's still benefiting from a lot of international market launches, whereas Netflix is, uh, is more focused on growing penetration in the market set it currently is in. So the opportunity set is a little different. Got it. Why is profitability the target so far away? I mean, it seems like Disney's been in the content creation business pretty much longer than anybody else. They come to the table with a whole library of entertainment options ready to roll out. So, so why is profitability so far away? Well, because unlike a few other companies like Paramount, for example, Disney's sole focus has been the pivot to streaming. Um, you have other companies um, like Paramount and Warner Brothers Discovery who are opting for a multi-distribution, multi-platform distribution strategy where they're using the content on linear and streaming at the same time, whereas Disney is really going all in and focusing on its investments around driving long-term sustainable subscriber growth for Disney+. Plus. Um, and it's an expensive business to catch up to the likes of Netflix, uh, to grow a global business. Um, it's certainly not cheap, and I think when you look at the subscriber growth that they've achieved so far, they're clearly seeing strong adoption and the ROI on it so far, but you really need to see that scale up closer to Netflix's numbers and beyond in order to hopefully get to a break-even break number uh, in fiscal 2024. So